Uh, breakfast starts at 10, right? Yes, and so does my vlog. Yes. So Hot the premiere. My Bali Day 2 vlog is premiering right now. So if you are not subscribed yet, um, subscribe. And if you want to watch live every day and chat with me, interact with me live, then click the notification button and you will get a notification uh, every time my videos premiere daily. And YouTube has this new premiere thing where it's kind of like a watch party where people can live chat um, at the right when it launches, which I'm gonna try to do the same time, which is 10 a.m. Bali time or 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Um, Pacific. So yeah, by subscribing, you're basically, it's just like following someone on Instagram. It's totally free and uh, it increases the network of worth of my channel. And uh, obviously, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will answer uh, comments uh, every day. So, yeah. Yeah. Howdy ho! All right, it is day four, and we just had our morning breakfast and talks. And uh, people talked about health, wealth, and happiness, specifically health. Like everyone shared like their workout fitness tips, and it was great. I shared my uh, tips about how CrossFit works for me because I'm very lazy, and uh, CrossFit is like a done for you solution as far as going to the gym not worrying about what you're doing you get in get out it's an hour long go home and shared my uh, tip about one salad a day as far as eating healthy i just try to make at least one of my meals every day a salad and then that will be a healthy habit that will build itself and then i also shared of course this morning the 300 workout which is if you're traveling something you can do really quick right next to your hotel bed. Okay, let's count the points. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points for Team Matt. You can just write this down here, the current score. And also a key point of that talk was everyone thought about and shared their deep why and their deep pain of why they want to be more fit. Whether that is getting more girls or just being, you know, the optimal alpha guy to be it. A, the best example possible for their friends and also their audience if they have one and also for long-term longevity and also just overall feeling good and being the best version of yourself so let me ask you what is your why why do you want to live healthy why do you want to get ripped what is your deep pain that is motivating you to be healthy because it's so easy to just not you know be optimal so what is your motivation and deep reason why you want to be healthy and fit. Oh so, yeah, I just did my first real world interview, what I'm calling it. It will be on tomorrow's uh, next vlog, so make sure you catch that. Um, they interviewed me for like four minutes and I shared, you know, my background, why I'm here, why I'm building my agency, uh, yada, yada, yada. And by the way, if you're wondering why we're wearing these um, polo shirts, it's because it represents the two teams. There's a uh, team gold with the golden triangle and team blue with the blue triangle. So that's why everyone is wearing these when they're being interviewed. I was actually wondering myself, I was like, what do I have to wear this, man? It reminds me of my door-to-door -door sales days wearing a polo shirt with the logo. And literally, one of my nightmares is being back knocking doors. So I'm like, I don't want to wear this. But no, it's to represent I'm on Matt's team. We are sitting down for lunch. Food porn of the day. Yeah, quick vlog update. Here I am, just lounging and working on my laptop. And what I'm doing right now is I'm replying to questions about my Amazon course. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, I announced that I'm going to be working with someone here to revamp and relaunch the course. And I'm making Cyber Monday the last day that it will be at its current price. 
So if you follow me for Amazon FBA and you are on the fence about getting started or need a kick in the back or kick in the butt to take action, go uh, check the link below to get my Amazon course before Cyber Monday ends, before I raise the price and take it to the next level. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, everyone is kind of just in their own sections, in their own houses, just quietly working away and getting shit done. So I said to you, okay, why, like, why should they actually buy, and why should they pay 5K for your thing versus paying 3K? And you said because your service is better. Okay, like, what does that actually mean that you, the service is better? Like, wh wh what does this mean? So I wanted to capture that real quick. Those three guys were on a team call and I wanted to show how Jonas and Matt and Timmy and Lucas have been leading a virtual mastermind for the past few years around digital marketing and digital marketing agencies. And they typically have multiple calls, team calls per week. So it's like an online business school, like literally. And I've been so envious of what Matt has been doing. And I just think that's really cool. What do you think? Here we are, We're, we have made it to the LinkedIn section of the vlog and we have the main man, Lucas, here. Hi, man. Today, he gave his masterclass on LinkedIn marketing, how to use LinkedIn as a way to get leads and clients. If you're a marketing company or if your business is B2B, trying to do services for companies, and I wanted to share kind of his story and some other of the guys' stories that have really crushed it with LinkedIn. If you have a digital marketing company that markets B2B and you're not doing this, you definitely want to, if you want to learn like the specifics and the strategies, then he's actually gonna put together a website um, that's like actually teaching this because like he's had so much success with LinkedIn, with his uh, digital marketing agency, he's now gonna be coaching LinkedIn uh, as another service from uh, for his digital marketing agency. So anyways, yeah, for people that don't know uh, LinkedIn, like what is it and why should people be using it if they're B2B? Exactly, it's a good question because everyone knows LinkedIn, but almost no one is using it, especially not in the right way. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of misconceptions about LinkedIn. They all think, oh, it's just for a resume. Oh, it's just to connect with people you know. But what I found out like around two years ago is that um, it, it, it's actually a, a very good funnel to get in contact with big B2B uh, companies because more and more companies are uh, using LinkedIn and you know they use it to connect with people but also to get clients so what I actually did is I changed my LinkedIn profile into a landing page mm -hmm. so what I kind of did is I uh, I designed a banner with with sales copy um, you know my uh, my profile for example my last name is my service my my headline my job title I changed to a headline like my proposition, I changed my summary uh, into like a sales letter and, and all those direct response marketing techniques I put in my profile. And with that optimized profile that's now a landing page, I use uh, tools to do outreach and I kind of build it into a funnel that puts me in contact with you know uh, companies, marketing managers, CEOs, founders, and because they're active on LinkedIn, most likely they don't read emails or I can't contact them on Facebook. It's like the best platform mm -hmm. to get in contact with, with those clients. And if your profile is top notch, which most are not, mm -hmm. you already stand out, you will present yourself as an expert. And at the moment, uh, I'm generating around <coughs> like two appointments per day. Um, yeah. My company is around, we make with my explaining video agency between 15 and 20K per month. Uh, all my students in my mastermind, because of the LinkedIn method, making between 10, 20, some even 30K per month. Wow. Uh, yeah. Another, uh, for my first LinkedIn client, because I actually started as an explaining video agency, I was, you know, doing LinkedIn for myself, but because uh, it was working and I was optimizing it every time, then I was teaching it in my mastermind every week. Yeah. Uh, now he's the guy. Exactly, because I, I was uh, I was implementing, I was improving, so yeah. I practiced what I preach. Yeah. And a lot of companies were asking me, can you help me with LinkedIn? Yeah. And, and so yeah, it's, it's a very good, uh, strong funnel, and I've been specializing in it for like, you know, more than two years, and uh, I'm still improving it. Nice, I'm gonna switch hands, because getting, uh, <laughs> getting tired here. <laughs> um, okay, cool, so 
Yeah, making 20K on LinkedIn. Um, I, I've done my previous interview with Jonas a couple weeks ago when I was in Bangkok, so if you haven't uh, seen that, watch that. But basically, for people that are new, uh, just tuning in to this episode, um, the digital marketing agency, okay, how, is, how are you making 15K, 20K a month? Uh, from LinkedIn like what do you mean well basically um, Jonas and also uh, Lucas are offering to do video to make videos for like medium to big size companies yeah. and these companies will pay four thousand dollars five thousand uh, dollars depends on the scope of the project for a video and so if they get two uh, phone calls booked with clients per day and then Let's say they, they just close one of those videos per week. Let's say they close five, uh, five video deals that are $4,000 each. That's $20,000 exactly. of, of services that you just offered companies per month. So that's what these guys are doing. And of course, it's a funnel. It's a system. They have uh, employees, remote employees that are getting the leads. Um, yeah. And like warming them up and finally get them, getting them to the sales team. Yeah, and actually with, with LinkedIn, I really treat it like a funnel. We use automation tools, we use sales copy. It's actually, you can almost call it e email marketing 2.1, a uh, 2.0. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it, you have way more trust because with an email, you only see an email address. With LinkedIn, if you connect to your photo, you see your, your copy, you see recommendation from your past clients. You, yeah. you can add so much more. It's almost like, a landing page with a live chat because you can chat via LinkedIn and yeah because I, I've been uh, specializing in it so long uh, keep optimizing it also learn from other people that I'm teaching uh, I'm currently teaching uh, every week a, a group of 30 uh, entrepreneurs LinkedIn yeah. uh, look at their funnel uh, give them feedback uh, so yeah it, it, it's a lot of people don't even use this that's the yeah. biggest thing so like literally in his class today I had no idea LinkedIn can do this okay you can have two videos on your profile you can add recommendations but it's basically like reviews yeah so like a LinkedIn profile can be very similar to an Upwork profile. It can like yeah. have video reviews, like testimonials, and like literally if you treat it kind of like an Upwork profile or like even like a website for the service that you're page. offering, a landing page, that's yeah. exactly what they're doing. I literally haven't touched my LinkedIn like since the college days, <laughs> um, but for my Amazon marketing agency, I'm definitely going to be uh, optimizing this and using all the strategies to try to contact medium sized companies that are struggling to, to sell on Amazon or they're looking to sell on Amazon. Yeah. And so that's my target audience. So that, that's the thing, most people don't even know how to use LinkedIn. And that's what I'm teaching here, you know, what kind of copy, uh, what kind of messaging uh, messages you send out, how mm. to uh, make connections, how mm. to follow up, how to put them in a CRM, mm. how to provide value, all that stuff. Like that's what I'm teaching, that's what I, what I still do for my company. I'm also doing it for other uh, big uh, software companies. I'm helping them with their LinkedIn lead gen. Uh, one of my first software clients, I think last month, they closed Nikon, like the big camera brand Nikon as a client. Oh wow. Because of my LinkedIn service. You so say Nikon. Really, Nikon, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Holland, so we say Nikon. <laughs> <laughs> so it shows you that it works for everyone as long as your as your audience your ideal client is on LinkedIn if it sells B2B yeah. then you should be on LinkedIn you yeah. should optimize it and you should get everything out of it yeah right and for those that don't know um, B2B means your client target customer is a business exactly. so you're targeting businesses and if you don't know on LinkedIn it's like searching on Amazon you have filters so yeah. you can target companies in Washington State companies in Bellevue that offer sports equipment that yeah. offer physical products so that's yeah. like an example for me I'm uh, targeting companies that sell physical products and they have an online store on their own website but maybe they're not on Amazon and you can also target who within the company okay I want to target the CEO if it's a small business or I want to target the marketing manager if it's a, a, a medium-sized business yeah. so that's what LinkedIn can do it's like a sniper finding your ideal uh, business exactly. person to get in contact with and another like, benefit is most people like with cold emails people don't read anymore but mm -hmm. when you send a LinkedIn message it also uh, uh, you know comes into their inbox so the so when they get a LinkedIn message they're more eager to hey a LinkedIn message they're more eager to, to look at it because almost no one sends them a LinkedIn message you know they get 100 mm -hmm. emails per day but when you get a message on LinkedIn you know you get their interest because everyone you know checks their uh, LinkedIn inbox yeah and everyone has full 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 email inboxes as we all know exactly getting a million Cyber Monday uh, yep. <laughs> emails right now because it is Cyber Monday. Happy Cyber Monday, all of you uh, shoppers from all around the world. And um, 
also it should be it should be said that um, Lucas knows how to do it in like a non-spammy way. Yeah. So like of course you could just like send out like copy paste, copy paste, bro, my service. That's not the way they do it because obviously that doesn't work and that's spammy and no one likes yeah. it. So it's like it's literally introducing yourself in a, in a nice way and saying, hey, I see your company. I think I can really help you with my service and just like saying, uh, this is what I do. Like, if you're interested in talking more and connecting on LinkedIn, that's mm -hmm. cool. Like, if not, that's totally not cool. But it's just like, yeah, it's introducing yourself to people that you could actually definitely help in like a totally honest way. And that's yeah. like why it works. And the goal is to start a conversation. You're not going to yeah. sell right away because you first need to know if you can help and if, and if you want to work with him. Yeah. Because you don't want to work with anyone. So the goal with LinkedIn is to get their attention, show value with your, with your profile, build trust also with your profile, start a conversation. And then if, if you see some connecting points, just get them on the call. And on the call is just to get to know each other. You're mm -hmm. not gonna sell right away. Usually after your first call, maybe you, you plan like an actual demo or an actual sales call, or you close them on the first call, whatever. But LinkedIn is just an easy, effective tool to get in contact with a large amount of your ideal clients. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's LinkedIn. And then another part of that puzzle can be a warm video pitches. Yeah, and uh, We're also talking about that a lot. <clears throat> um, it's kind of like warm email marketing 3.0, where mm -hmm. you're kind of like doing a screen flow video and you're showing yeah. them, hey, I see your website right here, but like I can really help you if we just put a video right here on your homepage. And so we're talking a lot about that. And it's and super effective. Like when I started using video pitches, like I, I closed HubSpot because I sent the sales director two videos. And it's just like, it's a, you got like an extension, you can just record your screen like very short like two minutes it's almost as much work as typing but a video pitch is 10 times more effective because people will see your face they, they, they you show yourself as an expert you stand out so it's super valuable yeah you had hubspot as a client yeah he did the video for hubspot how about that huge 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 company one of the biggest crm companies so wow that's the method and uh, of course that was just the overview so if you yeah. want to know like the detailed uh, plan he's the website uh, he's going to have a website linked below so check for that and he's the LinkedIn guy if you want to learn more yay cool thanks man